If you're recovering from a toxic relationship, do you have your own back? My question for you is, are you able to love and accept yourself right now? And are you able to move forward in your life knowing that, that you're there for yourself and you're not in any way judging or criticizing yourself for what happened in the relationship? Are you able to forgive yourself for what happened or do you hold a lot of this against you and are you struggling with that? Let me know how you're feeling in the comments because this is a question that comes up a lot when, when I'm talking to people in coaching and also I see it a lot in support groups where people are really like going after themselves. The dialogue in their head that has been planted there from the toxic relationships, from being brought up in toxic relationships, all of that makes it so that like you're the one who's paying the price for the stuff other people did to you. And you're paying the price by believing deep inside yourself that you're the one at fault. I even had one person tell me at the age of 50 something that I was the only person in their life that told them that this was not their fault after therapists, after a lifetime of trying to heal from toxic parenting, pretty extreme toxic parenting, the person had never been told that it was never their fault, that it was never them to begin with, that it was always this toxic person's fault who, I mean, why place blame? The only reason to place the blame is so that you can see that it isn't you that is the cause of this. You are not inherently bad or wrong or broken or any of the things you've been taught to believe. So self-forgiveness, you cannot go back and know what you didn't know. If you entered into a relationship with someone and years later find out they're toxic and you didn't see the signs, you didn't know what you couldn't have known, right? Even if you know about narcissism and you have you know, been working and healing and you then engage with someone who turns out to be pretty toxic for you after a few years or after a few months, that is still not something to go after yourself for. It's not that you didn't know better. It's just that we have to remember that narcissists groom and it is not always easy to see these things in the very beginning, even when we do know. So it does take time. It can take a few years. It really can to see someone who is psychopathic, so say, or to see someone who is really, really good at grooming, a very covert narcissist, right? A person that looks like they have empathy because they live a life where they are, I don't know, a spiritual person or a giving person or a person that has a job in the service industry or in, in healthcare or in something where it looks like they're pretty empathic toward others. You can't see the fine details of who someone is right away. That's why it takes the time it takes to get to know someone and to get to know someone slowly. So don't beat yourself, you know, in your head up over what other people do what you're doing is you're observing if you are catching it then you're catching it if it took a little bit to get here then it took a little bit to get there we have to stop thinking that we're supposed to see these red flags and immediately know what's going on and turn away because if we did that we'd pretty much turn away from most people right the number one way to help i think forgive yourself for what has happened in your life for any situation is to choose at this moment from this moment forward i will accept the responsibility of what i need to do to help myself heal and to help myself become a happier more joyful person who is able to embrace the good things in life all right it's from this moment forward thinking rather than I should have done it years ago, or I wish I had then, or, you know, all of those things that keep us trapped in the cycle of being the one who's basically gaslighting ourselves and who's projecting onto the good parts of ourself, the bad things that happen. Remember that, remember that being accountable to your actions and your beliefs. And while you're doing that, you're working on change. You're working on create creating a better life for yourself that isn't something that often happens overnight so be patient and be calm and be kind to yourself as you're going through this healing process another thing is remorse we have to allow the feelings of remorse and sadness and grief as they come up allow them to flow through rather than be stuck holding on to them working on that negative self dialogue is a big one when we're working on forgiveness of self right so if you're feeling like 
you keep hearing the running dialogue in your head that is repeating the negative things other people have taught you to believe about yourself, that's when it's time to take check and notice that you can make change there through redirecting those thoughts, through pattern interrupting those thoughts, through creating new thoughts, through having new experiences which show you the better side of yourself, through listening to others when they tell you the good things about you and stop blocking that. When someone tells you something good about you, as small as it might be or as big as it might be, listen so that you can, be, you can make the change to where you're believing it to where you're seeing yourself the way people who care about you see you. So one simple way, it's a very simple way, but it might not be the easiest way, okay, is to renew your sense of self, to renew who you see yourself as, to recharge and reset the beliefs in your head that have been placed there by toxic people into ones that are more true and accurate, accurate true and accurate, authentic and real for you. So starting with three things you love about yourself every day in a journal, they can be tiny things, they can be big things, they can be very personal, they can be very surface things, anything to just start seeing yourself differently. It's not about convincing yourself you're different, it's about really seeing it. It's about really seeing the positive things about who you are and starting to believe them because you are legitimately seeing them. So start small if you have to, even if it's like, I like my eyes or I like, it could be simple, it can be superficial, it can be surface, just start somewhere. Or go toward things you see yourself doing. I like the way I handled that situation. I like the way I speak to so-and-so. Write these things down, give yourself a reflection in, in writing about, who you are and the positive things about yourself. Another thing that's really big is look at your growth. A lot of people feel like they get stuck in healing. Do you feel like you're stuck in healing? Because it is a place where I think every single one of us has been and probably will be again as we go through this healing journey. So when you're feeling that, when you're feeling stuck or when you're feeling like there's nothing good about you and, and it's all your fault or, or, or something like that, Look at how far you've come. Find a trace that leads you back to when something was even worse and see how far you've come. Because even people who have to stay in toxic situations and can't get the freedom that they deserve in their life, if they are working toward loving themselves and trying to heal what they can heal, they will see that, oh my gosh, before I started working on, on caring about who I am, I was way worse off. It's just, and even if you're just starting and you're thinking, well, I, this is as low as it gets, just know that there's hope moving forward because you will have a time when you can look back and you can see how far you've come. People in the group coaching are always talking about this. They, they don't feel it in the moment maybe, but when they look back and think about when they started group, they can see how far they've come and they, they have a sense of, of, feeling good about themselves for a moment because of how far they've come. There are a lot of benefits to self-forgiveness and for each person that's gonna be really individual. So I would look at the things that you are not forgiving, that you are accusing yourself of, that you are coming after yourself for, right? And see what they are causing in your life. See where they're causing you to have certain beliefs, where it's causing you to um, feel certain things and react in certain ways and see if you can make changes from there. If so, for instance, if the feeling bad and like it's your fault makes you feel isolated and not being around people or um, you know, just self-isolating, you can see that that self-isolating behavior is making you feel depressed and alone. And then you can see that because you're depressed and alone, you're doing more self-isolating then obviously there's something to change in there and it's most likely stop self-isolating, even if it's little tiny increments, even if it's just looking up when you're at a store and looking into the clerk's eyes and saying thank you as you walk away with your things. Quick moments of connection with others, quick moments of connection with life so that you can start making changes. So there's an example of how you can start making changes in one way. So figure out what it is for you that when you are in feeling, when you are feeling 
like it's all your fault and you need to forgive yourself. What are the behaviors you're doing? What are you telling yourself? And see if you can find one small thing to make a change so that you can start living a better life. The thing about healing from toxic people is toxic people put us here, but we're the ones responsible for getting ourselves out. No one can do it for you, but we are here to support you. So if you do need any support for that, check out the information in the main description of the video. There's links to all kinds of ways to find support and if you have any questions or you want to want to talk about anything you can also add a comment to any video and i will try to answer and try to help you or make another video that goes along with what you're asking so let me know what i can do to help you and you guys take care i will see you next time my name is lise colucci hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe Bye bye